You know, for most big league prospects, the road to the show is a slog that begins each year at spring training. But for Daniel Norris, the top pitcher in the Blue Jays system, who is on the mound tonight at 7 Eastern, it's actually an adventure that begins weeks earlier in an almost 40-year-old van. Here's more with ESPN's Will Reeve. For the past three winters, Blue Jays prospect Daniel Norris has trekked from his home in Tennessee to spring training in Florida in a 1978 Volkswagen Westphalia van. And oh yeah, until camp opens, he lives in it. I got my surfboard up top right here. Um, and if you look back in there, I've got, this is my bed. I sleep in there. This is not big. Not big at all, but... This I, is, and you're, I'm 6'3", you're 6'2". Yeah, this is we, not big. I try not to move around as much, but... Where do you sleep? I slept head right here. Uh -huh. But I don't know, I just switched it up and I'm sleeping head back there now. Of course, this all begs the question, why? Norris got a $2 million signing bonus as a second round pick in 2011. But the van life, as he calls it, is the obvious choice for him. It really shows me that I can live a normal life without needing luxuries. I consider my life very luxurious, being able to live in that and travel around and you know sleep on the beach and wake up to the waves. Like, I mean, come on, it doesn't really get much better. When you look at the van, what do you see? I see my house, <laughs> I guess. I see a part of me, I think, actually. There's times where I'll cut the radio off or cut the music off and, and just listen to how it's running. It's almost like we're talking. Yeah, sometimes she uh, uh, gets a little tired. She has a name, Shaggy as in Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. What's the top speed on this puppy? Well, when she's right, probably like 65. And while she doesn't judge Norris's lifestyle, it's easy to wonder if his teammates might. They were asking me about the van, and I was like, I wonder if they think I'm weird. I wonder what they think about this. I wonder if they think, like, man, how does he do it? I'm saying to myself, like, how in the world could I not? I've really learned how to I guess flip the switch. You know, you come out to baseball and you kind of got to leave the laid back personality and lifestyle in the van. And when you get between the lines, it's, it's work. Maybe the van fills a void in his life, or maybe he just enjoys it. Either way, he's secure. You sleep with a machete? Yeah, I sleep with a machete. That's insane. Can yeah. we see it? Yeah, for sure. Oh, no one come to this guy's van. Yeah, don't come knocking. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I only use it to cut my apples. What do you think you're recreating by living in the van? I don't think I'm recreating anything. I think I'm just creating a long story of my life, going on the road to nowhere fast, and I'm just enjoying the ride. 